Hey guys, Matt here. Really quick update video to the video I made last night, which was a 360 total security review. It's a removal review. Uh, but Adam pointed out that I did not have Bitdefender turned on and he was yelling at his TV. So I have to go ahead and check that out now because that's kind of bothering me too. I didn't realize that down here, these things have to have like a color to them. It'd be nice if they had like a little check mark or something. I just didn't notice that B was grayed out and grayed out means turned off. So we'll go ahead and turn it on. And then um, let's see, how do you do an update here? I'm probably going to have to pause this because I never have updated this. I don't know where it is. Oh, let's click scan. Maybe it does it automatically. I don't know. Hold on. Let me make sure I do this right because I don't want to make another one. Okay. I didn't really see any obvious update. I just clicked this version down here. And, um, oh, it found a new upgrade. Okay. Upgrade now. So it'd be nice if they had a bigger upgrade button or check for upgrades or I don't know, something like that. So I guess this is going to take a few minutes here. Okay, well, it did its uh, little update, and um, this is where up, what we're up to now. We've got the Avira database, Bitdefender. It's kind of weird. It says 215.41, 215.42. I don't know. It says it's updated, so uh, let me go ahead and do a virus scan, and I'll go ahead and we'll do a full scan see if anything else pops up. Okay, so nothing really happened. Uh, it found some uninstaller. Say resolve. So in this case, we know Bitdefender didn't really find anything different than the other engine. So Anyway, that's it for this video. It's a small little update. We'll probably have many more of these types of videos. I think I'm going to do one for the MSISoft, uh, where I'll join their little community, um, which is coming up uh, probably next. So thanks a lot.